Hello guys, welcome to the Ladinius Music once again. Today I'm going to do an illustration on PHB 50, Presbyterian Hymn number 50. And uh, to me there are six styles and even more ways to approach this hymn. So I'll demonstrate the six styles and then you choose which one best suits your needs. Okay, so if you see a song like this or a piano piece like this, particularly for as orthodox musicians, how would you approach it? I'm going to give you six approaches. Okay, so for the first approach, you are going to play it as 2-2. Two -two. Uh, by that I mean you are going to play exactly what the composer has asked you to play or play it in the style of the composer's arrangement. Okay, let's try that. So this is how it will go. You play exactly what you see on the score and if there are complexities you just want to avoid them so you can make omissions just to keep it simple the next way or the next style that i want to show you is to play chords and then a left hand note so the upper three notes will give you your triad and then you play the lowest notes in the bass clef as your bass and uh, i like to double the bass so I'm going to play double fingers, okay, this way. second approach all right and uh, it's pretty simple if you know your basic triads your set chords and sometimes your seven chords you can use that knowledge to play triads in your right hand and then a bass note either a single bass note or double bass notes in your left hand okay so the next style is to play the bass up or play a different melody with the chords down but the melody up here so your left hand will play some melody here it will be any note from the score okay let's look at it So this style is also fine. If you don't want to risk it, then practice this so well so you don't get rusty whilst you are performing. And then um, after this, let's look at the mood style. So you can play it in a different mood. This song is written in C major, but you can play it in C minor. And for illustration purpose, I'm going to play the C harmonic minor. And with the C harmonic minor, some notes will change. E will now be played as an E flat. A will also be played as an A flat. So there will be two changes and then the scale will now look this way. 
So let's try that. Let me use boudon trumpet and dunes to illustrate this. So it will sound this way. This one is pretty simple, but you may have to rehearse if you are not familiar with minor skills. Okay. The next one is to play variations. So we maintain the melody line or the soprano or treble line, and then we change the chords. So I'm going to use organ tutti for this one, and then let's add some multi-part cymbals. Okay. <laughs> So this one comes to test your knowledge of chords and then harmony. How well can you make changes that won't affect the melody, okay? Then the last style is something I use to play processional hymns and then recessional hymns. So I play a style and then I also make some changes in the harmony to help with my left hand bass. And, uh, like I already said, I use this when the choir is processing or reassessing. And sometimes uh, we don't usually see this, but when the congregants are looking too sleepy or the place is dull, you can put in this just to let people dance or shake people up. So it's a danceable. Let's look at how it goes like. So for the style, I'm going to use Klubu's High Life. And then let me freeze this. And then, uh, so maybe. Let's make tempo 105. Memory again. So, how does it look like? Okay, let's go. So this is a really intermediate to advanced level style of playing, okay? So I'm going to make it a bit simple so beginners can pick something, okay? This way. So let me just do a breakdown of some of the complex bass lines I played, okay? So I did something like this. Okay, this bass line is actually a 6-2-5 bass line. And then I also did a 2-5-1 bass line. So I'll illustrate. If your chord is just a 2-5-1 chord, okay? This way. Once again, this is a 
This is the five. This is the one. So it goes this way. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay? This way. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, so when you speed it up, this is what you get. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That's it says two, five, one bass line. So if you use the same bass line as a six, two, five bass line, this is what you get. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So this one represents the six. That is for six. That is for two. That is for the five. Okay. So this is one that you can also use to spice up your bass lines to make your play more creative. All right. I hope you enjoy these styles, and then you can pick one of them or. Try all of them out. Let me see your comments. Share with me your thoughts. And any suggestions are always welcome. Catch you in the next lesson. Bye.